own the rights to this music. I own the rights to this message. This is for Nick Mosby, the Maryland Black Caucus. This is for our black leadership, Governor Westmore. I was making a documentary about Baltimore and the money y'all make off of the war on drugs, the money y'all make off of stopping first and zero tolerance. In 2011, I used the Monopoly Board. In 2023, I'm going to do it again. Art and activism, the art of protest. That's my political soapbox, all right? And that's President Trump. That's Jack Young. Uh, mm, you spell yeah. I'm the king of talking shit, and I can back it up. It's Freedom Summer, and I'm flushing careers. Public Accommodations Act, 1964, the right to access the court. That's the Constitution. First Amendment, all right? That's certified mail. And that's Natasha, the public defender's office. That's Kaylin Young, the Judiciary Committee. All right, we talk about the 90 day session, the 45th district. That's Delegate Stephanie, I mean, Adrian Jones, Speaker of the House. That's Xavier Conway, the Clerk of the Court. That's Audrey Carrion, the Head Judge of the Courts in Baltimore City. That's Stephanie Smith, 45th District. I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger. I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger in 2011. I was doing making a documentary about your prison industry. Y'all was opened up and I did it with Starbucks. You feel me? Right here. All right, I gave y'all that. Starbucks and Shorty. Starbucks and Shorty, right there. This is art and evidence. And it's about your prison industry, all right? And that's a Rob Fix production. This is the Baltimore Arts District. Y'all just got this grant or got this money from Kwaisi and Fume. Well, I want some of that money. I want some of that money to produce my books and my movies. It's art and activism. And that's the Maryland Black Caucus. That's Pam Woods. She used to work for the Baltimore Sun. Pam Woods, Justin Fenton, Barry Sims, Doug Collins, Jane Miller, Adam May, yeah, Richard Sher. We're going to talk about the media and the role the media plays in misinformation. That's the Baltimore Sun, Tony Woods, all right? Y'all got a black reporter protecting white supremacy. A black reporter protecting white supremacy. That's the Baltimore Sun. If you go to Westmore, he got this. Pam Woods got this. Senator Ben Cardin's has this. That's a green card. And Senator Ben Cardin's been knowing about this since 2007. That's Governor Hogan. That's Westmore. <clears throat> That's Mayor Brandon Scott. That's Anthony Brown, the Attorney General. That's Chief State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby. That's the Legislative Black Caucus. That's Peter Franco. I'm out $250 million. We play in Monopoly, the Cheaters Edition. I'm out $250 million. That's Councilman Izzy out in Baltimore County. That's Eric Barron from the Department of Justice. That's Caminettes. He ain't here no more. He died. That's the Board of Elections. We're talking about voter suppression in the 2020, 2022 elections and the 2014 elections. That's Senator Bill Ferguson. That's Brian Frost. You was Senator Frost and you was the uh, Attorney General. See the dates? That's Peter Francott. You permitted this fraud to go on. You're not in the office anymore. Prosecutorial immunity doesn't apply to you. Yeah, we're gonna follow the money. Monopoly, the cheaters edition. Monopoly, $250 million. You can't hide it. That's the Public Justice Center. The Public Justice Center. And they sent this back. That's President Biden. President Biden, President Trump, President Obama, and President Bush. Letters to my presidents. That's Delegate Sheila Roof. She's my witness. That's somebody in Annapolis. That's Governor Hogan. All right. I want everybody to know who's on the page. That's Marilyn Mosby. When I went to the state's attorney's office while she was in office, you see the time and the date, 2021. She's been shielding it. Chief Justice 
of Maryland, Mary Barbera. We talk about Monopoly, the Cheaters Edition. We talk about money laundering, and that's the Department of Justice. Eric Barron got this. That's me, 3229 Shannon Drive. That's Ivan Bates. You got that. And all that information you got, you got to turn over to the people. Like I said, playing Monopoly, being black in America. You feel me? Smile. Be happy. It's going to be a light show. We open for business. That's Governor Westmore. Governor Westmore got this. Y'all didn't let me in into the inauguration. So I put it in a book, Baltimore. Baltimore rewired the money behind the machine. I showed the corruption in your courts. Jim Crow justice, and I named your politicians and your lawyers. Michelle Alexander wrote the book, The New Face of Inge Old Jim Crow. Well, I put it in the book. Long for Michelle Alexander did it, and I gave it to you. I gave it to you. Baltimore rewired. Baltimore's open for business. Monopoly, the cheaters edition. And somebody going to jail. Like I said, that's Bar Black Arts District. And I was making a movie about the Maryland Black Caucus. See that? That's Ivan Bates. That's Judge Carrion. And we talk about community in crisis. Town Hall, Ivan Bates, first 100 days. He reinvented mass incarceration. He used the 13th Amendment to enslave black Maryland. Ivan Bates is a new face of old Jim Crow. Baltimore rewired the money behind the machine. And that's your, said it ain't stealing when you do it in your face. So y'all put in place a corruption machine. They call that the RICO Act. Like I said, the show, the big show. See who that is? That's PFK Boone. And that's the show. Governor Hogan, Mayor Pugh and me, and Scott Schellenberger. Like I said, the movie's about y'all. And Governor Hogan got that. That's Sheriff Fisher. That's Scott Schellenberger. That's Judge O'Malley. That's Carl Jackson. We talking about the money behind the machine. That's Governor Hogan. And that's WEEA Radio, Mark Steiner. WEEA Radio had this, Mark Steiner had this. Y'all been protecting Scott Schellenberger. And Theroux, the biggest loser. And Izzy got this. Y'all wanna protect white supremacy, so we're gonna put it in the show. That's Chief Justice Mary Mabera, and that's Delegate Sheila Roof. That's Peter Francott, the, the, the controller. That's his running mate, and that's Marilyn Mosby. She got a trial in November, and I'm going to be having this book produced before November. She's going to snitch. See that? That's Marilyn Mosby, 2021. That's John Anderson and Anthony Brown, the Attorney General. You got to play them book. You got to produce this material. And you got to give me an audit. You seen quite easy and fool me yesterday. Like I said, I'm making a movie about y'all. And it's very creative at the Creative Alliance. You feel me? It's the big show. Showing off Baltimore. That's Governor Westmore. Maryland House of Delegates, that's Governor Westmore, all right? And that's Governor Westmore. It shows you. It's all about you, Gov. You said you was going to talk to me. It's been over It's been over a year, and you ain't had two words to say to me. You cut and run. Well, this book is going to tell the true story of Westmore. It's going to tell about the corruption in the courts, about voter suppression. Yeah. Mayor Brandon Scott, shorty pull your mask up? No, we're going to unmask Baltimore. Remember, Westmore in the House of Delegates. That's Marilyn Mosby. She the star of the show. The big show. Marilyn Mosby, all in a class of our own. Protecting Scott Schellenberger. All right? That's Eric Holder. I mean, Eric Holder in the Department of Justice. That's Eric Barron in the Department of Justice. And that's Delegate Smith. Delegate Smith is a lawyer. She's an officer of the court, and she's been shielding this, and, and she destroyed evidence. Delegate Smith don't deserve to serve. Neither does Jill P. Carter, because Jill P. Carter had this in 2014. Corey McRae had this. You feel me?
your delegations had this, and y'all having a delegation thing on the 45th delegate, the 45th district. So don't 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 miss the moment, because we're gonna show you your true colors. We're gonna show you your true colors. Delegate Stephanie Smith, it's all about you. Kaylin, you've been protecting white supremacy. You're on the judiciary. Like I said, it's all about you. Shorty story. And I talked to you on numerous occasions when you worked for the ACLU. You worked for the board of uh, Civilian Review Board, and you're a delegate. And you had information and knowledge and did nothing with it. You've been protecting white supremacy. Jackie Addison, Corey, we're talking about the 45th District. There it goes, Delegate Caleb Young, Judiciary. That's the rule, Baltimore's biggest loser, protecting Scott Schellenberger. The money y'all make off of that. That's Xavier Conway. I filed my paperwork. That's Natasha from the Public Defender's Office. That's Jackie Addison, Dutch Ruppersberger, Kwaisi and Fume, Brooke Learman. I spoke to Kwaisi yesterday. I spoke to Kwaisi yesterday. I seen you in the mayor's office at the Board of Estimates meeting. And Dutch, you done had this since 2007. Dutch, Sarbanes, Cardins, Cummings, Mikulski. Speaker Jones, Bill Ferguson. That's Donnell Rochester. And that's Shorty, Runners for Justice. All right, mic check. We're getting ready to shut this shit down. So Jack, Trump, Baltimore, rewired the money behind the machine. Monopoly, the money behind the machine. Baltimore's money is black bodies. Slavery under the 13th Amendment. And we're going to do this by the numbers. The 45th District. See you on Saturday, June 3rd.